When data is generated, it is necessary to attach processing information in every layer, such as how much data is transmitted and identifies for the device sending the data and the device meant to receive the data, so it can be sent to the right destination. Today, we'll talk about encapsulation. Hello guys, today we'll discuss the concept of encapsulation. Encapsulation is easy. At least one person encapsulates something every day. In real life, encapsulation is like packaging an item to be delivered to a person or organization. Let's take this example of packaging a smartphone as a gift to be sent. First of all, the smartphone is the original data. First layer of encapsulation. We attach a user manual to the phone, giving instructions on how to use it. Second layer of encapsulation. We put them both in a smartphone pouch, large enough to contain the smartphone and the user manual. In this form, it is called a pouch and not a smartphone, since the smartphone is enclosed. Third layer of encapsulation. We put the pouch in a box meant for the smartphone. On the box, Useful information about the phone is written. In this form, it is called a smartphone box and not a pouch. Fourth layer of encapsulation. We wrap the box as a gift and attach a slip containing the name, phone number, and home address of our recipient as the receiver of the item. In encapsulation, three things happen. First, multiple layers are added to enclose the original data, which is the phone in this example. Second, a new data is formed each time a layer is added. And finally, each layer contains instructions on how to recover the original data in the receiving station. The step-by-step -step transformation of the smartphone to the gift box is called encapsulation. Similarly, in computer networking, the appending and prepending of protocol information from the application layer to the physical layer is called encapsulation. If this layer of information is added in front of the data, it's called a header. If it is behind the data, it's called a trailer. The main reason for encapsulation is to make data adapt to different protocols and transmission media. For example, any data to which an IP header is attached is capable of being routed on an IP network. In summary, for Ethernet-based networks, application layer data is encapsulated into a TCP segment or UDP datagram at the transport layer. The segment or datagram is encapsulated into an IP packet at the network layer. The packet is encapsulated into an Ethernet frame at the data link layer. Then the frame is encoded as a signal to be transmitted through the physical media. When this signal reaches the destination device, the reverse process is done in order to retrieve the original data. This process is called de-encapsulation or decapsulation. Check out the questions on the next slide. Watch out for the presentation on the Ethernet Hub same time next week to get a better understanding on the working principles of the hub as a physical layer device. If you learned something from this video, please leave a comment, like, subscribe, and share so others can benefit too. Thank you for watching.